Hey there, and in this video I want to quickly show you how you can create a pretty simple 3D prototype inside of Godot. So to start with this, I'm going to create a brand new 2D scene that I'm going to be naming main, but you can name it however you want. And over here, I'm going to be adding a static body 3D and a mesh instance as well as, well, the collision I will add it later because uh, what I want to create here is the ground. So we'll create here this plane and um, I will just set its size to something like 10, 10. And then if I press over here, I can directly create the uh, collision shape that I will put as a, as a static body child or well, actually, let's do it like this. And I'm going to delete this one. So now here we have it. Uh, and in reality, I will just delete this collision shape. I will create a new one. Um, and this is going to be a box shape. And let me give it here the size of this. That was 10, 10. Okay. And in the Y, let's just put something quite uh, small. Maybe something like 0.1. That should be working uh, as we want. Or then well, we'll adjust it if we need it. This is just going to be uh, my ground, so let me rename this and I will save this as a branch, okay, so that it will have its own scene. Then uh, what I want to do is to add my player and uh, in order to do this, I will use a character body 3D. Why a character body? Because if I add a script over here, this has a template with basic movement already set up. Um, so as you can see, this writes for us a lot of code. Uh, so that we will be able to actually have a player movement in a pretty easy and a straightforward way. Uh, but now let's also add a mesh to this and then I'm going to add in the, the collision. But firstly, let's add here uh, the capsule over here. This is what I want. Let's make this a little bit uh, smaller, maybe something like one over here. Okay, and then radius, let's make it exactly like this. So it is a little bit smaller. And then let's add the collision shape 3D. It's going to be a capsule, but let me, I think this is offset a little bit, yes. So let's reset this. And for this, uh, let's check the values that we had over here, 0.25 on radius and one in height so there it is matching perfectly okay so this is going to be our player and let's save this as a as a branch there we have it we can also start uh, creating here some of the folders that we may need one for the scenes another one for the scripts exactly like this and here we have this okay so now let's move the player uh, a little bit up. I think that something like 0.5 is going to be perfect. And now if we run this scene, let's give it a second. Okay, but firstly, let's add the sun to the scene. Let's also add the environment. And lastly, the camera 3D. Um, so I'm going to enable here the preview so as I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to move it da uh, to the left. Okay, a little bit up. And there it is going to be something good. Now let's play again. And there we have this. And as you can see, I can move with the arrows and I can jump with the spacebar. So with this, it is more than enough to have a pretty basic player movement. Um, now what I can do is I, I can go to the ground and to the mesh. I can add a material here, a standard material. And I can change here the color. So let's, for example, make it something like a gray color over there the player let's make it something like a blue color exactly like this so maybe something like this or a violet color well this is still blue so it is okay so there we have it i think it is much better now uh we can also um no with this i think i think that we're going to be okay we could still modify some things of the lights and, and more stuff, but uh, I think we're going to be good with these settings. So to, quick, to quickly explain the player movement, 
um, we have two constants, the speed and the jump velocity. These constants, the, their values can't be modified. That's why there are constants and not variables. Then in the physics process, because you, you use these functions for when you want to do something related to physics, what do we have here related to physics? Basically, gravity. So if we aren't on the floor, we take our velocity. And in here, we basically apply the gravity with this formula. Then uh, we check if we are pressing the UI accept action, which is basically the enter key or the space bar. And if we are on floor, then we actually handle the jump. Then we get the input direction, okay, using this input dot get vector. This will basically return a uh, one minus one if we are moving to the left. Or you can actually here the, the easiest way of understanding this is to actually print input dire direction. And when I press the arrows, okay, here you understand actually how this vector uh, is working, okay. So there you see how depending on the direction this is changing, okay, depending on the input that I provide. And then using this input direction, we actually um, calculate the actual direction that we want to move towards. And then lastly, we apply all these directions, updating our current velocity. And this basically handles the acceleration. And lastly, we call move and slide, because if we do not call move and slide, these changes in the velocity wouldn't actually make any change. As you can see, I am pressing the arrows, but nothing is happening. Now, uh, let me first of all uh, rename this script to player, and I will add uh, an area 3D. Okay, this is going to be my coin. Uh, I will add once again the mesh instance and the collision shape 3D. By the way, I'm using the shortcut here, Control A, to quickly add a child node, just if, if you wanted to know. Uh, I will add over here, uh, let me look for the, the, the sphere over here. Okay, I'm going to make this sphere some kind of yellow color. So something like that is going to be perfect. Uh, let's also make this a little bit smaller. Uh, so over here. Okay, let me uh, make this 0.25 and this uh, 0.5. Okay, so there we have our perfect coin. Okay, there it is. Um, and lastly, let's create our sphere shape and a radius of 0.25 is what we want, okay, to make it perfect. Let's save this branch as a scene in our scenes folder. Let's make sure that in the scene, this is set to zero, zero. Then we can modify the position here in the scene. Let's attach a new script to it. And here we want to detect the collision with the player. So the easiest way is to add this player to a group. Player, let's add it over here as a sync group. Uh, and over here now in the coin, in the signals, the, this, is, this is a character body. So we have to look for body enter signals. And over here, we want to check if body dot is in group player. It means that if we are colliding with the player, then we just want to delete the coin that has just been collected. Now let me just start duplicating some coins and I will place them uh, wherever I want. And now I can press here play. I can select this one as the current scene. I will now here have my coins uh, Well, that I, I should be able to collect. But here I have to put this exactly like this because the group name is exactly like this. Everything in lower cases. So we have to make sure that now everything works. And there we have it. I can collect these coins. So of course, this is a pretty simple prototype. Um, there could be a lot of things that we fix, just, such as the camera. Uh, but well, now with this, you have an understand uh, a pretty basic understanding of how to create your first 3D games in Godot. If you are serious about leveling up your Godot skills, check out my course. In less than 6 hours, you'll master Godot fundamentals while building this amazing project. Links in the description. See you there.